Hi everyone, Alex Tardy here back. Uh, we're looking at Santa Ana winds, drying conditions and warmer temperatures coming up uh, Friday into much of this weekend. The next Pacific storm looks to arrive on Monday and could last into Tuesday, though it does look like a weaker, not a strong storm uh, at this point. These are the main points. Offshore flow develops on Friday, that's Santa Ana winds coming in from the northeast, so that'll bring drier air and push all that marine air away as well. And uh, upper level ridge will lead to warming. Much warmer Friday and temperatures becoming above normal during the day. Now we do see some patchy fog returning after this warm up. Looks like uh, possibly Sunday, but more likely Sunday night and Monday. Elevated surf returns on Sunday and Monday as well. That's ahead of the next Pacific storm. Good chance of rain uh, and widespread, but uh, it'll be a mild storm initially, 8,000 feet with snow levels on Monday. The storm does split though uh, to the north and south, so it looks like it's going to weaken as it approaches Southern California. Uh, the precipitation could last into Tuesday, uh, and that's when we'll finally get some lower snow levels Monday night and Tuesday. Here's a look at uh, what we've seen for February, very wet conditions across much of the West, especially central Southern California. Uh, the purple shaded there, uh, two to three times as wet compared to normal for February all along the coast and even some of our mountain areas. Now, if you look at the percent of normal for the entire water year, our rainy season, our total rainfall, compared to normal, you can see green shaded, which brings us just above normal along the coast here in Southern California, and some blue, which is up around one and a half times as much when you go from LA into the desert areas. We still have areas in California though that are in the orange uh, and a little bit of red in the Southern Sierra Nevada that still need more precipitation, believe it or not. Let's look at the graphical weather discussions. So, this is the weather map in motion here uh, for Friday and Saturday. What's causing the weather? Well, we have a storm going by to our east. That'll give us a Santa Ana winds offshore flow. Upper level ridge will give the warmer air mass. So the warmer air mass will get tapped and brought down to the surface. Now that Pacific storm, the next one, it, it's large. You can see it there on Friday and Saturday, but it's closed off, almost cut off from the main westerly jet stream, so it's slow moving. By the time we get into Monday and Tuesday though, uh, it starts to fill, weaken. Much of the energy goes to the north and then it splits to the south on these two white lines, the jet stream. So the real cold air with the storm and the kicker from the storm uh, is to the north. Um, and that's gonna go over the Great Basin area and miss us. We're just gonna get a piece of the southern part or weakening part of this Pacific storm. This is the outlook. And so mild conditions is the rule of thumb over the next couple of days, above normal temperatures. Santa Ana winds uh, on Friday, they're not gonna be strong, but they will impact the Cajon Pass, the San Gregonio Pass. Then we look at some coastal fog after this big warm up. Uh, that could start as early as Sunday, uh, certainly Sunday night into Monday. And we bring a chance of rain back on Monday. Looks like it could be widespread, but not heavy. And that'll last into Tuesday as well, with the best chance is probably San Diego County because the storm is going by to the south. The Santa Ana winds, take a look at them here. This will be offshore flow, northeast winds. Uh, that'll be the drying and warming that occurs on Friday and lasts into Saturday. So mainly our mountain passes, not a strong event, but still some impact in our mountain passes like Cajon and San Gregonio. The precipitation for the next storm statewide here, you can see the numbers are much less than what we just saw recently. Um, though beneficial rain and snow in the Sierra Nevada uh, and even beneficial rain along the coast, keeping the ground moist. Now, uh, mild to warm conditions uh, above average temperatures. So Friday and Saturday, we look at the uh, temperatures really warm, big warm up on Friday, which lasts into Saturday. Precipitation chances. Now, I know a lot of you may not want more precipitation, especially if you're on the immediate coast, uh, but it does look like there's a good chance of rain uh, developing on Monday, which could last into Tuesday, with the best chance probably across San Diego County because the track of the storm. 
The outlook for March, more rain. Uh, the next series of storms in early March do approach California uh, as a rather strong storm in early March. It looks like it's gonna stay further to the north, at least the core of it. Southern California will just get brushed by this storm system and cold front in early March. So we're not over with yet. We've had a very wet February across California and uh, more precipitation is possible for early March.